I come now to two characters who succeeded in removing the kitchen sink and when no one was watching, of course, and putting it in a far better place. Needless to say, their own place. The next award, and the last award, is to two characters who have, how can I say, they've added new dimensions to television comedy. A couple of likable rascals, they're always in trouble, they're always on the scrounge, Bermondsey Bow or Buckingham Palace, doesn't matter to them at all. They and their writers have given us many, many moments of sheer delight. Variety wishes a great deal of success to uh, these two characters. We hope that they'll cherish these silver hearts they're going to receive in a few moments, at least for a day or two before they flog them. <laughs> they are Steptoe and Son in the shapes of Mr. Wilfred Bramble and Mr. Harry Corbett. But before you raise your hands to applaud them, I would like Mr. Wilson to also present this carrot for Hercules, who did a bit as well. <laughs> Mr. Chief Parker, distinguished guests, that git has made me start. <laughs> Don't breathe on it, you'll get microbes all over it. <laughs> <laughs> he always gets me out. Got patina on it. My trouble is that when I mean something, I can't say it. So all the things that I wrote down on my Christmas present that he gave me have gone for birth. <laughs> uh, incidentally, this is it. <laughs> know all these stuff <laughs> so all that I can say is I don't believe it thank you very much everybody and uh, I'd like to say thanks to him too because not only is he a terrific chap to work with but uh, he's, <laughs> he's almost started to be the son out of the business <laughs> over to you Harold <laughs> Uh, I don't uh, want to be political. <laughs> but uh, I'd just like to say to these newcomers onto the scene that I have been fighting for freedom for the County Palatine of Lancaster, <laughs> home rule and nationalisation of the Manchester Ship Canal for some years now. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>